Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Illinois Association of College Admission Counseling Virtual College Fair this evening. My name is Sabelle. I'll be your facilitator for this virtual college fair. Welcome, welcome, welcome. We are super excited to get started. You're going to hear a lot about different institutions this evening. They have some awesome information to share with you. But before we get started, as you all know, time flies when you're having fun. So I really want to make sure that this process is super smooth for you and have you, you have a good time learning about these institutions. So just a couple different things, as you can see on your screen currently. So you're going to want to ask some questions to these institutions, and we 100% encourage that. But how do you do it? So you're going to click that Q&A button down on the toolbar of your, of your Zoom screen. You'll see that Q&A button. You'll go ahead and click that Q&A button in order to type in your questions to the presenters at any time. I stress at any time because we will not be having a live Q&A at the very end of the session. So please make sure that you are asking your questions at any time and not waiting till the last minute. Also, my attendees, when you are asking questions in this Q&A feature, please make sure to put the institution's name within your question so we all know who the question goes to. The presenters will be answering your questions uh, throughout the entire uh, virtual college fair. Also, this is a webinar style type of virtual college fair, which means you're muted, your video is turned off, and the panelists cannot see or hear you. So it's super important that you use that Q&A button to ask those questions. Also, side note, fun little fact here, that although your chat is disabled on your end as an attendee, the panelists can actually put in information like their contact information or certain links that they want you to check out in the chat. So if you do see your chat notifications pop up, please make sure to check them out as well. Also sign up for more sessions. This is one of many, many college presentations that are offered uh, for this evening. So there are more sessions happening in the next time slot. So feel free to check those out. Last but certainly not least, a recording will be available. So if mom you know, wanted to check it out, grandma, your friend, maybe another transfer student or what have you, please make sure you can check out that recording in the next coming days. All of these sessions are being recorded and can be found at strivescan.com backslash Illinois. Now, without further ado, I would love to get started. I will hang around, obviously, to introduce our institutions. So I'd like to get started with our first one. Columbia College, Chicago, go ahead. Wonderful, thank you so much. Hi everyone, my name is Holly Herrera. I'm the Associate Provost for Transfer Initiatives and Academic Partnerships at Columbia College Chicago. Take a look at that beautiful picture, a lovely spring day in Chicago. Some information about our institution by our transfer numbers. We have about 7,000 students overall, 28% of which transferred. It's wonderful. 80% of our students actually commute from within the city and outside of the city. So we don't have a residential um, program that's required of you. All you have to do, live anywhere in this amazing, gorgeous city. 75% of our Bachelor's of Arts programs can be completed in two years. 41% of our students identify as students of color and $4.7 million in scholarships were awarded last year. It's amazing. It's outstanding. I'll give you some more information on numbers. This is our tuition right now. Um, tuition fees sitting at a little bit over 28,000 um, on campus housing and meals, 16, but remember 80% of our students live somewhere else in the city. And our books and supplies are about $1,600. Going through this quickly so I can get to the next part. Remember, so much financial aid that we do offer our students. 97% of our transfer students receive financial aid with an average package of over $22,000. And so that's an annual package looking at all forms of financial aid and scholarships. And so definitely um, we can make it work for a lot of students. Check out that link right down there and I'll put it in the chat later. It gives you all of our scholarship information and can um, take you to external scholarships as well. Ah, check it out. So Columbia College Chicago is an arts and media focused institution, a very creative learning environment, um, small class sizes. And when I talk small, this is pre-COVID small. So under 12 students in um, a, lot of our, a lot of our classes, taught by faculty who actually live what they teach. Let's say you're interested in, in acting. Our 
professors are still acting. They are going on auditions. They are doing their thing. It happens everywhere. Graphic designers are designing. Uh, our sound editors are sound editing. So uh, they are still working in it and keeping things fresh and new. So let's talk about those majors really quickly. We have over 60 majors, again, creative focused, and we broke them down into buckets for you. So we have business and management. You can see that they are arts design focused. That music business is very popular. So is our social media, excuse me, social media and digital strategy programs. Communication and writing, American Sign Language, English interpretation, outstanding um, program at Columbia where our professors are storytellers. They get out there and um, telling stories of, of communities. Media and digital arts, uh, the heart of Columbia right here, game design, um, animation, et cetera. Um, music and sound, performing arts, and visual arts. You could see it's very much art and design, creative industries focused. Um, I didn't identify as a creative until I got here. And then they told me that I fit right in. It's wonderful. Let's look at this. So outside of the classroom, we have opportunities for students to get any support that they need, which every institution here will have this for you. Um, we have a beautiful student center, picture of it coming up, that houses our career center as well as our health and fitness. Um, of course, we have an academic center for tutoring, services for students with disabilities, and our library. Our library is very different from a lot of other libraries. Come see our fashion archives. Come see our um, cinematography archives. It's amazing, award-winning library, check it out. Ah, this is fantastic. Our life outside of the classroom. This is one of our events manifest, look it up, it's amazing. Um, it's a parade. This is one of our student groups. We have over 70 student groups. And if there's something that you need that you wanna be a part of and you have other folks that wanna join, you can create that club at Columbia. So it's, it's fantastic. And of course, plenty of student employment opportunities. No matter where you are, you can visit us. We have plenty of virtual um, experiences happening right now. Um, we have started in-person tours just this week, actually, um, March 15th, first day. So you can check it out. Just go to column.edu slash virtual or column.edu slash visit in order to um, see what's available and what will work for your schedule. That was definitely another time, wouldn't you say, with this picture right here. But if you have any questions whatsoever, our transfer team is here to help. We can help select courses at your current institution, and we can also um, help you just in the entire transfer process. So please reach out and ask any questions whatsoever. Thank you so much. All right, awesome. Thank you so much, Columbia College Chicago. If you have any questions for them, please put it down in the Q&A at the bottom. Next up, we have Southern Illinois University, Edwardsville. Thank you so much. So good evening, everyone, and welcome. My name is Jennifer Harbaugh. I'm from Southern Illinois University, Edwardsville, and Laura Montagudo is joining me tonight as well. So drop any questions you have in the Q&A, and she'll be able to answer those. So getting to know SIUE a little bit, we are about a mid-sized university with about 13,000 students on our campus. About 42% of those are new transfers every fall. So we love our transfer students. We are located in the southwest part of Illinois, so just 25 minutes from downtown St. Louis. We sit on a little over 2,600 acres, so if you enjoy rolling woodland, we have a lot of that for you. Um, and then we also offer an average class size of 21 students. Our student to faculty ratio is 15 to 1. So there's really a lot of great opportunities to get to know your faculty and utilize their expertise throughout your time with us. 
having trouble getting my next slide to go. Hang on just a second here. There we go. Um, so areas of study, we have 127 undergraduate majors for you to choose from as well as 64 minors. So just to give you a quick overview, our College of Arts and Sciences, that's our largest academic unit. So you'll find a wide variety of programs from foreign languages and literature, um, to communications, we have our social science programs, humanities, performing arts, um, our sciences, just a lot of great options there. We offer a school of business and our school of education, health and human behavior. You'll find those teaching certification programs as well as programs such as psychology, exercise science, nutrition, speech language pathology and audiology and public health. And we also offer engineering and nursing, and we have doctoral programs in dental medicine as well as pharmacy. As far as getting involved, there's lots of great opportunities for that. We have more than 250 organizations on campus. So if you're looking for involvement in your academic program, many of our programs have organizations there. Uh, my favorite example is an engineering. One of the organizations they have builds a concrete canoe that actually floats and they do travel and compete with that, which is a lot of fun. Um, we also have student government. There's opportunities to volunteer if you enjoy intramural sports. Um, if you are musically gifted, um, or love to act, but you don't necessarily want to pursue those programs as majors, you can still audition and participate without being a major. And then in the bottom of the screen, you'll see a photo of our esports arena, which is fairly new. So if you're an esports enthusiast, we have that for you too. Also, because of our location and proximity to St. Louis, there's a lot of great opportunities for you to get hands-on experience related to your major, which is something that may be required to graduate. If it's not, it's something we strongly encourage you to partake in. Um, we do have study abroad opportunities across the globe. And even in this unique environment, there are some virtual opportunities you can take advantage of as well. Um, we also offer research at the undergraduate level. So whether you pair with a faculty member and assist with their research, or you can work with a faculty mentor and create a proposal that focuses on a topic you're really interested in, which is a really cool experience. So now I wanna shift just a little bit and talk about admission and scholarships as we wrap up. So first off, for admission to the university, we're looking for a 2.0 GPA on a 4.0 grading scale in college. That's for university admission. You need to have 30 semester hours completed since you graduated high school. If you have less than 30 hours, you can still apply. We just require a high school transcript in that case. And then we look at your high school GPA. And that requirement is a 2.6 on a 4.0 grading scale. To be considered, you need to submit your application, the application fee, official transcript from each college or university attended. And then of course, if you fall below the 30 hours, we need that high school transcript as well. And the deadlines for each term are posted there. We are currently accepting applications for all three of those semesters. As far as paying for college, this is what students are currently paying for a full academic year at SIUE. So a couple things to note, this includes 15 hours per semester or 30 hours total. Our tuition is guaranteed. So what that means is when you start with us, it is locked in for you, which is great. Uh, we also offer a textbook rental system that's included in the fees as well. And then these are our scholarships that we have. So when you apply for admission, you are applying for our scholarships. So for the first two awards, now all of these, they are for fall entry. So that's important to note. The first two scholarships, they are renewable for two years. The Janetta Haley Scholarship, it does look for underrepresented students. Um, aside from that, both the Cooper Pride and Janetta Haley require a 3.0 GPA on a 4.0 scale in college. The Phi Theta Kappa Scholarship is a one-time award of $2,000. And so as long as you're a PPK member applying for fall, you can receive that scholarship. Um, and then we have the SIUE Commitment, which in addition to admission, also requires your FAFSA. And then these are just kind of an overview of our deadline. So depending on what semester you wanna live with us for or come to SIUE for, um, this is the application and housing deadline. 
And then this is our team. Please let us know how we can help, what questions you have. My contact information as well as Laura's is listed for you. Um, if you're interested in visiting campus, go to siue.edu slash visit. We've got some great virtual and on-campus opportunities. Thank you so much and enjoy your evening. Thank you. If you have any questions for Southern Illinois University Edwardsville, please put it down in the Q&A at the bottom. Next up, we have University of Wisconsin Platteville. Welcome. I am Melanie Buckingham. I am the transfer counselor at UW Platteville. UW Platteville is founded in 1866 and is located in Southwest Wisconsin. We're approximately three hours from Chicago, Illinois, and one hour from Madison, Wisconsin. We offer a personal approach to education with smaller class sizes that are taught by faculty. Our average class size is 25 students with a student to faculty ratio of 20 to one. So students have easy access to their faculty to ask questions, obtain a obtain assistance and work on projects. Um, we offer a number of programs. We have more than 50 majors, 70 minors, and 16 pre-professional programs. Our top majors include agriculture, biology, business, criminal justice, education, engineering, and industrial technology. We also offer a hands-on approach to learning. Um, some of these opportunities include internships, co-ops, experiential learning. We also offer service learning projects, student teaching, and more. Several of our programs include labs. These, some of these include our Forensic Crime Scene Investigation House. Uh, we have a working farm on campus for our agricultural program, and we also have construction labs. This offers a real-world experience and helps you build your resume at the same time. To be considered for transfer admission, you need to have a cumulative 2.0 GPA on a 4.0 scale. You have to be in good standing at your current or most recent institution and 12 or more transferable credits are needed to be considered a transfer student. Um, we also review AP test scores for credit in the admissions process. Um, to apply to UW Platteville, you'd fill out the UW system application that takes 15 to 25 minutes, depending on how detailed and how much information you need to provide. It is currently free to apply to UW Platteville. Um, you would need to supply your high school, official high school transcript, which means it needs to be sent from your high school directly to UW Platteville. You would also need to send all college transcripts that you've currently attended or are attending. If you are currently taking courses, we only need your unofficial transcript for review. And then it's optional to submit ACT and SAT scores. Um, we review credits for transfer. There's transferology, which you can use, and I'll drop the link in the chat after this presentation. You can look up how your courses transfer. You can request your courses to be equated. Otherwise, you can apply and submit an unofficial transcript and it'll be equated within our system that you would be able to review. We also have um, articulation agreements and then students who have earned associate degrees in arts or sciences from an Illinois community college will have met all of our university general education requirements at UW Platteville. So you would only have to take requirements for the major. Um, in regards to tuition, um, students who reside in Illinois or Iowa receive our tri-state in initiative tuition rates, so it's lower tuition rates than non-resident rates, and included in our tuition and fees is textbook rental programs, health and wellness services. We also encourage students to fill out the FAFSA and apply for UW Platteville scholarships. We do offer transfer scholarships. It is a separate application process and those applications are due by July 1. Um, through filling out our, that application process, your information will also be applied to every scholarship within our foundation that you might be eligible for. 
UW Platteville also offers 13 residence halls and we have living learning communities. So students in similar majors can have the opportunity to live together and there's specialized programming and opportunities related to your majors in those living learning and interest commu communities. We also have eight dining locations on campus for students to take advantage of. We offer a number of resources for our transfer students, including a transfer student orientation. There's free tutoring services and academic coaching, um, student health clinics, departmental advisors, and transfer students have the opportunity to register based on the number of credits they're transferring in. So if you have 40 credits, you would be registering at the same time as any other, as a, a student who started at Platteville with 40 credits. Um, we have an entire admissions team dedicated to transfer students, so please feel free to reach out. I will also drop the, this information in the chat afterwards, um, but we're more than willing to work with you to assist you through the transfer process, the application process, and even talk about how your credits will transfer. Um, we have a number of student clubs and organizations in addition to Division Three athletics on campus. We actually encourage our students, if possible, to join two clubs, one that's major specific and one that's a fun club, such as bowling or fishing. Um, this is a great way to build your resume as well. And we also offer campus-wide activities. Um, I wanna thank you for taking the time to meet with me today. And if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out. Awesome. Thank you so much. If you have any questions for University of Wisconsin Platteville, please put it down in the Q&A at the bottom. Next up, we have IUPUI. Hello, thank you so much for joining us tonight. Um, my name is Heather Hawker and I'm an admissions counselor with IUPUI, um, so which is Indiana University, Purdue University in Indianapolis. So IUPUI has a little over 21,000 undergrad students who are a larger university. We have 16 degree granting schools with 550 academic majors. What truly makes IUPUI unique is that we offer degrees from either IU or Purdue, depending on your academic major. So we're all Jaguars. You go to school in Indianapolis, but at the end of your four years, your degree may come from IU or it may come from Purdue, depending on the major you chose. So the last part of our I is Indianapolis, which is a huge part of our university. Um, so we are in Indianapolis's backyard. It is the fifth largest, uh, I'm sorry, the third largest Midwest city, uh, 16th overall. So it's a great sized city that students are really able to immerse themselves in. Um, it is the state capital, so you have the state house. Uh, there's Fortune 500 companies like Eli Lilly, Salesforce, the Indianapolis Motor Speedway, is located in downtown Indianapolis. Great restaurants like, like nightlife and a great food scene. There's museums, minor league sports teams, major sports teams, uh, the zoo. And something that I truly love is the amount of green space we have on our campus. So I love that our campus is just outside um, like in the backyard of the city. So you have that college feel, but you're walking distance to a major city. On our campus, uh, we have an auditorium as well, which is Olympic size swimming pool and we hold Olympic trials every four years so students are able to watch Olympians compete and ultimately um, make their spot in the Olympics. We have 16 degree granting schools. Some of our really unique majors would be our Purdue School of Engineering Technology. We have the only motorsports engineering program in the country. We have the first school of informatics and computing. Uh, we have five hospitals located on our campus, including the IU School of Medicine that is actually located on our campus. We have the world's only school of philanthropy. We have epidemiology, which is obviously affecting our lives right now, so students are more interested in studying there. We have Kelly School of Business, which is one of the top rated business schools in the country. We have a school of education that has an urban focus. Um, the largest nursing school in Indiana, and then obviously um, great Purdue science programs, and we have one of only 26 accredited forensic science programs in the country. Some great things that our students do on campus, um, we have 500 clubs and organizations, so there's truly something for everyone, whether it's um, a social club or based on your major, depending on your interests. We have an awesome multicultural center, campus recreation, division one athletics, school Jaguars, uh, if you wanted to work on campus, this is a great opportunity to make some money while also going to school um, and some great health and wellness programs. 
we have some wonderful traditions at IUPUI. So our weeks of welcome really welcome our Jaguars and give them the lay of the land. Our regatta is a boat race down the canal, which is similar to our homecoming, their speed trucks. It's a really fun event. We have our Jagathon, which is a dance marathon that is solely student run that raises money for Riley's Children's Hospital that's located on our campus. We have Jagapluza, which is a fun carnival and then cultural heritage dinners as well. We have five residence halls on our, camp, on our campus um, that you, students can choose from. Housing is at a premium, so students move, do need to apply by March 15th in order to secure housing. If you don't live on our campus, about 80% of our students still live within walking distance of campus, depending on what you're interested in. So how do you become a Jaguar? You can apply through our, apply, uh, our common application or our apply IU application. You will request official transcripts from any schools you have attended. And we do have some priority deadlines. So if you're interested in starting this fall, you need to apply by June 1st. Uh, spring is December 1st, and then uh, our summer sessions are First one is March 15th, and the second one is May 1st. So just some admissions 101, if you have 26 transferable credit hours, we're looking for a 2.0 on a 4.0 scale as a cumulative GPA. You would submit us all transcripts from all schools attended. If you have fewer than 26 credit hours, you would then um, have to submit your all your college transcripts as well as your high school transcripts. And then your transfer credit will be uh, reviewed after admission and it is reviewed usually and given to you in two to three weeks. So students coming from Illinois actually participate, we participate in the Midwest Tuition Exchange Program, which is a wonderful program that truly discounts tuition for students coming from Illinois by over $17,000. So your tuition and fees is just over 14,000. And then if you're living on our campus, room and board is about 10,152. The rest of the costs are not direct costs, um, but they're just items to think about. So we do have some great scholarships, as I mentioned, the uh, Midwest Tuition Exchange Program, as well as our Jaguar Excellence Award, which is $2,000 if you have a 3.0 GPA or higher and 26 transfer credit hours completed. So we would love for you to come visit us. We are having on-campus visits currently, as well as virtual visits. Um, if you are interested in scheduling an on-campus visit, you would need to do so on our website. You can bring up to two guests and just make sure that you are registering in advance because um, we are not accepting walk-ins at this time. But thank you so much for joining us tonight. Uh, we hope you enjoyed your information and hope to see you on campus soon. Awesome, thank you so much. If you have any questions for IUPUI, please put it down in the Q&A at the bottom. Next up, we have Ohio Wesleyan University. Okay, sorry about that. Let's see here. Okay. So thank you all for being here. My name is Tiffany Wade. I am the Associate Director of Transfer Admission at Ohio Wesleyan University. And um, first things first, yes, we are Ohio Wesleyan University, but you will hear us refer to it as OWU. So students, staff, and faculty are all the time saying OWU instead of Ohio Wesleyan University. And that's important to note because our first um, slide here is about the OWU connection. The OWU connection is really vital to your educational experience at Ohio Wesleyan. And there are three core ideas. It's think big, go global, and get real. The OWU connection allows you to connect with your future. It's a guaranteed experience for all students. And it is internships, research, and travel because it allows you to start connecting with future employers or networking with people who might be um, in your grad school pool. So Think Big is the first leg of this and it is all about interdisciplinary programs and research. You'll be guided and personalized, you'll be doing guided and personalized research projects and interdisciplinary study. Um, going global is the next leg of this 
and about 70% of OWU students participate in some sort of um, global experience. And we tell students to pack their passport and prepare for travel because so many students participate in semester abroad programs, travel learning classes, or university funded connection experiences anywhere in the world. And then the last leg is get real um, because you do go to college ultimately to have a career and get a job. So the get real portion is having internships and co-ops, having those real practical experiences that are going to connect you to your future. Again, whether that is gaining experience that every employer wants or networking and getting the things to put on your resume that will make you stand out for grad school application. Here is just one sample from a student. Um, Eva is a student who took full advantage of the OU connection. She was a zoology major, minored in fine arts and environmental studies. She had two travel learning experiences in um, Costa Rica and in the Galapagos Islands. She also had two internship experiences. One of those was in Maryland and one of those was in Delaware, Ohio, where Ohio Wesleyan is located. And then she also participated in two theory to practice grants. And these are experiences that students create on their own. They, they will sit down with someone from the OU Connection, go through a grant writing, go through the grant writing process and create an experience that is really unique to their passion or their major um, to, to connect them directly with what they want to do. And in Eva's case, this allowed her to be employed right after graduation um, in her field. And that's what we want for all students. So here is some data for those of you who like that sort of information. Um, Ohio Wesleyan is a small school. We have an average class size of 15 and the student to faculty ratio is about 10 to one. About 29% of our students will double major um, or have um, major and double minors really focusing on a tailored experience to your specific goals. We have about 1,426 students, but those are representing 44 states and 28 countries. So though we are small by population, uh, we really have a big reach globally and connections all over the world. And about 95% of our recent grads were employed or in graduate school within six months. And noteworthy, the graduate school acceptance rate for our graduates is about twice the national average. So if you're interested in graduate school, um, check us out there. We have over 70 majors, but the top five majors at Ohio Wesleyan are uh, zoology, health and human kinetics, politics and government, and psychology, and business. And our transfer students are eligible for the same merit-based scholarships as incoming first-time students, which means students with a GPA of 3.6 and above are eligible for the Branch Rickey Scholarship, which is $30,000 a year. Um, so a lot of students really take advantage of that aspect of the scholarship process. So some additional information here about Ohio Wesleyan to connect if you didn't get a chance to get information during this presentation. We have virtual tours available. We have chance to discover different majors. If you go to ou.edu discover, there is an option for students to hear podcasts from current students, faculty, staff at Ohio Wesleyan. You can meet your counselor and set up a time and there's a lot of other information you can get there. Um, feel free to reach out to me by text or email. Thank you. Thank you so much. If you have any questions for Ohio Wesleyan University, please put it down in the Q&A at the bottom. Last but certainly not least, we have Carroll University.
Hello, everyone. Thanks for hanging in there till the end of this college fair. My name is Brittany Schaefer, and I am one of the transfer admission counselors at Carroll University. And I will share a little bit about Carol. So, my next slide. Just a little bit of a lag. There we go. So, Carol is a smaller private school. We have about 2,800 full time students, about 3,300 total students with our graduate students and part time students. 100% of our students on campus that are full-time receive financial aid. We award a lot of financial aid. A big chunk of that for our transfer students is our merit scholarships, and those range from $13,000 to $16,000 a year, and those are renewable for the entire time that you are at Carroll. Um, whether you're transferring after a semester somewhere else or two years at somewhere else, you would receive that scholarship the whole time you're at Carroll. Um, our classes are all taught by faculty. We don't have any teaching assistants on campus. Um, and our average class size is about 21. So we are going to be very similar to um, students high school size classes. Um, so very discussion based. You're not going to be sitting in large lectures of two or 300 students. It's a very personalized education there. We have about 95 areas of study on campus. Our most popular majors are nursing, our doctorate of physical therapy program, psychology, education, and business. We also offer a handful of really unique programs. Our animal behavior program draws students from um, all over the nation and internationally. So that is a very popular program for our students. Location also matters when you're looking at transferring. So Carol is in Waukesha, Wisconsin, which is about 70,000 people. We are about 20 minutes east of Milwaukee and about two hours north of Chicago. So proximity means really, really great internships for students, clinical placements, student teaching, career connections. We are close to the largest city in Wisconsin without being in the big city. So we sort of get all of the benefits without being right in the middle of the city. We're in more of a suburban environment there. We also have a really global um, focus. So all of our students are required to do some type of cross-cultural experience in their four years. This can be a local experience, this can be national, this can be international. About 80% of our students spend time outside of the country in their four years, and it's actually a requirement for our students to immerse, their, immerse themselves in another culture. We think it's really important for students to get outside the classroom and experience things that may look a little bit different than what we're used to. So, Outside of classes, because college isn't just classes, we offer about 50 student organizations on campus. We are starting new clubs and organizations all the time. Students are able to start new things that appeal to them specifically or another group. We have Division Three athletics. Um, we recently added a bowling team. So that is very popular with our Illinois students. And we also have an esports team. Application process is pretty quick and easy. We call it our no hassle transfer process because we try to make it as seamless as possible. So students can use the Carroll application or Common App. Our application has always been free, so no application fee there. It generally takes students about 20 minutes to complete that process. And then we need high school transcripts as well as transcripts from any institutions we've attended. We will also do unofficial transcript evaluations. So if you're wondering how your credits will transfer before you apply, feel free to send us unofficial transcripts right on our website. You can upload those and we can evaluate them to give you a better idea of how those credits would transfer. And then this is our transfer team. So we all work with different programs on campus. Um, all of this contact information is on our website as well, and we would love to have you come visit our visit opportunities very greatly. So we have been doing in-person visits pretty much the whole time in small group settings or individual settings, very socially distanced. 
Um, we have some smaller open houses. We're allowing students to sit in on some of our classes because they're so small. We have the option to spread those out and maintain social distancing and allow students to sit in on them. Students are able to meet with faculty when they come visit campus as well. Um, and then we're doing some smaller open houses as well. So feel free to come visit, reach out if you have any questions and thank you very much. All right, awesome. If you have any questions for Carroll University, please put it down in the Q&A at the bottom. At this point in time, I would love if our presenters for this evening could pop up on their screens again. I have a question for them. My question for this evening is, what advice would you give someone going through the transfer process? So we'll just go in presentation order. We have a few minutes. I think we can get through everybody. So first and foremost, Columbia College Chicago. Okay, as a person who's done this myself, I was a community college transfer student to my institution. Um, my community college changed my life and that's why I went into admissions and study transfer students. So what advice? I have so much advice. I have a, per I have a lot of advice. Um, okay, I'm gonna root it in my experience. I did not even set foot on my transfer institution when I transferred didn't. I just applied and went to orientation. Please go virtually or in person. Check it out. Make sure you feel good about the space. Um, I'm not a person who talks about fit because uh, there's so much that can go into that. But you know what? Feel if it's home to you. If it's just all right, maybe it's not the right institution. Go see another one. Go do it. Visit. So that's my advice for anyone looking to transfer. Awesome, thank you. Southern Illinois University, Edwardsville. Yes, thank you. I would say plan early. So, you know, reach out and, and you've met several of us tonight that work specifically with transfer. We love transfer. So reach out to us. You don't have to figure all this out on your own. Like, when should I apply? Do I have to apply to the program as well as the university? What about scholarships? And more and more questions. So we are your advocates. We're part of your support team. So utilize us and reach out early. Awesome. University of Wisconsin, Platteville. I would echo um, my colleagues comments. It is important to visit campuses, visit a couple campuses so you get that feeling of where you're going to feel like you fit in, where you're going to feel like the, the program is right for you, meet with faculty from the campuses, and once again, reach out early. Um, even as you're starting your community college process, reach out and make sure the credits you're taking, the courses you're taking, meet what you're going to need for your major and where you're going, where you're considering transferring. Awesome. Thank you. IUPUI. I can't agree with reaching out early is important. And also um, as a transfer student myself, it was very helpful to save on to save my syllabus for classes. I was able to really get some additional credit for classes that maybe didn't look like a science class, but when I had that syllabus, I could send it in and say, hey, it really had a science focus. So I always tell students, save those when you're going through the credit portion, you know, don't stress right away, take your time, have it in order so you can really maximize your credit when you transfer. Awesome. Briefly, Ohio Wesleyan University. Um, I'm going to echo save your syllabi. That is, that's great advice because your evaluations can change. So if you feel like something needs to be changed, don't hesitate to push for that. Um, request a second evaluation and, um, and reach out to the faculty, the department that you're interested in majoring in, you know, connect with them before transferring to really find out what your major and what that department looks like. Uh, to get a true sense of what you're going to be spending your time on for the next couple of years. Thank you. Last but not least, Carroll University. Thank you. I would completely echo visit, visit, visit. That's super important. Um, get in contact early. We are more than happy to work with students even right out of high school to plan those two years or one year at a community college. Um, we'll help you pick classes that will transfer well, satisfy requirements. 
Um, but we also really encourage students to think about what you're looking for in a college. You're transferring for a reason. Um, a lot of students want to make pro and con lists, and sometimes that's not super helpful. I encourage students to make a need and want list. What are your must-haves at a college, and what are the things that would be super great if they could be there? Um, and a lot of times that will really help students narrow down what they're looking for. Awesome. Thank you all so much for that great advice. I know I learned a few things, and I hope our attendees did as well. With that said, I wanna just thank you all for joining. My presenters, thank you so much for being here this evening and telling us a little bit more about your amazing institutions. My attendees, thank you for joining and learning about these amazing institutions. Uh, just a few things before we head out. You'll get a quick, quick survey after you close this window. It is very, very quick, four question survey. So give us some feedback. Also sign up for more sessions. Remember, this is one out of many college presentations. And as you all heard from the advice of the experts, definitely check out more places, right? So definitely sign up for more of the time slots that we have. Last but not least, remember, if your friend wants to check it out, maybe you wanna revisit this, maybe mom missed out on this evening, well, guess what? A recording will be available in the next coming days at strivescan.com Illinois. So with that said, y'all, thank you so, so much for coming and I hope you all have a great evening. Are we kicked out too?